going to work on the down and the stay. Um, I brought Siren along, and I also brought Atlas. Uh, Atlas doesn't know it too well. I've actually worked a little bit with Siren on this, so she's she's fairly good on it. But I'll show you how to do the down stay. We're going to use a treat, and we're going to use a collar and a leash. We're going to use a treat, which is a hot dog, a piece of hot dog, and we're going to lure her to the floor. Um, as we lure her to the floor, you can use the leash to guide her down to the floor. You can pull on her paws to guide her down to the floor. She already knows how to down. So I've done I've done maybe three sessions with her, so she has a good idea on how to down. So uh, no, no, no. So um, you, can, you can lure her from her nose down to the floor, and you can use a little pressure from the leash. She's got a choke collar on. She doesn't really need a prong anymore. She listens. She understands the concept. So that's what we're gonna do. Down. Up. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Down. Yes. Up. Yes. When you're going to teach a stay, you want to keep the dog in one spot if she moves. You take the leash and you bring her back to the spot that you had her on. Um, you reward her with the stay in small increments. So you move back a step, you come back forward. You move back two steps, you come back forward, you reward again. You move three steps back, then you can start adding distractions and you can use toys to, uh, to play this game of stay. So let's start. Siren, come. Sit. You want to reward the dog, you want to walk up to the dog and reward the dog. You don't want to, at this moment, reel the dog in to run up to you. You want her to learn how to stay. Siren, come here. Stay. No. She moves, so you take the leash, you bring her back. Sit. Come here. No. Come here. Sit. Stay. 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 Okay, come. So now instead of food, we're going to use the toy as the motivator and we're going to make it a game. Sit, down, stay, come, sit, down, stay, come with a toy. Uh, you can use a tug. I had her. I'm just gonna use a rope with her. All right, Siren, come on, sit. Yes, good girl. Down. Yes, good girl. Sit. Yes. Okay. Stay. No. Up. Stay. Okay, come. Yeah. Sit. Stay. Come. Good girl. Down. 
That's how you could use the toy to emphasize the sit, the down, the stay, and you turn it into a fun game. She's still kind of teething, so she doesn't want to bite and hang on yet. She will, so you don't want to go too rough in this stage when they're puppies. I'm going to be doing the same thing with Atlas. Um, I probably got two five-minute sessions in him, same thing. Um, Siren I probably got an hour into, same kind of thing. She was a little more stubborn, so to get her to go down, probably took about half an hour the first time. After that, she gets the hang of it. He's probably gonna be stubborn too, so let's see. Same, same deal, treat, reward. He's got a prong collar on, a small prong. So we're using that instead of a choker. Uh, he's, a, he's, a stub he's stubborn too, and these dogs have high pain threshold. So we're gonna be using a prong. We're not gonna use a lot of pressure, just enough so he understands the concept. So, Now when you're doing this, you want the dog to fully be down. You don't want to give the dog a reward unless the dog is committed down. If he's got his muscles all tense and he's kind of downing, do not give him a treat. Yes, good boy. Down. Yes, good boy. Easier than I thought. Down. So you can teach him to come up, you put a little pressure on the leash just to bring him up and you have the treat above his head. So now he's up from the down. Down. Yes. Stay. Up. 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 Come on. Up, 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 up. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Down. No? Nope. 